Okay, guys, that's a wrap. Uh, wait! Don't you want to see my de- Moonwalk! Mail call for Mr. Krabs. What's this? More junk mail. Let me guess, free tickets to Neptune's Paradise. Why don't you give them the moron back there for being employee of the year? <laughs> SpongeBob? Yes, Mr. Krabs? Here's two free... Uh, I mean, very valuable tickets to Neptune's Paradise. Gee, thanks, Mr. Krabs. You must have spent a fortune on these. Hmm. Let me tell Patrick. <laughs> thanks again. Hmm. I know I am, but what are you? Hey, Patrick. SpongeBob? Patrick! SpongeBob? Patrick! SpongeBob. I'm behind you, Patrick. Hey, SpongeBob! Mr. Krabs gave us two free tickets to Neptune's Paradise! Neptune's Paradise? You go home and get ready, and we'll meet up later after work. <gasps> <laughs> Hello, faithful customer. What do you got to do to get some service around here? I'm sorry, sir. Was there a problem with your order? I haven't even been served yet. What's the big holdup? I'm terribly sorry, sir. What did you order again? A Krabby Patty. And I'm starving. I'll fix you one right up, mister. Guess who's going to Neptune's Paradise? That's nice. I just came back from there. It was a lot of fun. Oh, well then maybe you can help me. I'm trying to find out how to get there. Do you know a way? Yes. Ask me nicely. Okay. Could you tell me how to get to Neptune's Paradise, please? Nope. Why not? Because I'm starving. Fix me a Krabby Patty and maybe I'll tell you. Well, I gotta go. Bye. There, Squidward, old pal. What do you want, SpongeBob? I got named Employee of the Year, and Mr. Krabs gave me tickets to Neptune's Pacific Paradise as a reward. What do you think about that? SpongeBob, I think you finally lost it. Hey, Squidward, there's a hungry-looking customer over there. Shouldn't you do something about it? I have no interest in that. But I need to get to Neptune's Paradise. Could you please take care of that customer for me? <laughs> Look, SpongeBob, I am very busy. Please do not bother me unless it's important. Oh, tartar sauce! Hello? Mr. Krabs? Are you in there? 20, 21, 24. Arr, shiver me timbers, boy! You made me lose count! Thanks again for the tickets, Mr. Krabs. Patrick was so excited, I thought he was going to throw up. Hey, great, boy. Why don't you get going now? I need to get down to the barge in Mart. I'm having a rummage sale. Mr. Krabs, do you know how to get to Neptune's Paradise? Army boy, you want me to tie your shoes for you, too? I don't know where the place is. Figure it out for yourself. I have to go. Mr. Krabs, don't you think the Employee of the Year deserves a raise? Hey, uh, a raise? But, I, I speak English, boy. Ah, oh, Mr. Krabs, you are too funny. Yeah, well, I'm also too busy. Now leave me be. Yuck, onions give me bad breath. Mm -mm. 
Mm -mm. Yeah. Hey there, Squidward old pal. What do you want, SpongeBob? Say, the kitchen's looking really clean, isn't it? Is that what you called me over here for? Is there an order up or something? Nope. I just like talking to you. Look, SpongeBob, I am very busy. Please do not bother me unless it's important. Okay, Squidward. Sorry. This door seems to be locked. Those are my extra hats. Never know when you might need one. Extra spatulas. Shiny. Canned snacks for when I get hungry on the job. I made that Krabby Patty a few weeks ago. It was so perfect. I couldn't let someone eat it. It's kind of starting to smell now. Ah, sandy cheeks. Looking at her makes me smile. My trusty mop. One is never lonely if one has a good mop. Squidward. Him and Patrick are my bestest friends ever. Those are my extra clothes. Cooking is messy. I can't be seen with a grease spot on my shirt. That is my signed picture of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Aren't they dreamy? Mr. Fish's chips. They're usually pretty good, but these have gotten stale. I don't want to touch that. What if it drags me up to the surface? Ah, running water. Isn't the modern world wonderful? The name says it all. Yeah. There you go. Hey, I don't want this. I said I want a Krabby Patty with all the fixins, and I want it on a clean plate. Hop to it. I'd better wash this before giving it to anybody. Yeah, a Krabby Patty! A Krabby Patty! Here you go, sir! One delicious and uh, slightly nutritious Krabby Patty! Now, can you tell me how to get to Neptune's Paradise? Yes. Uh, well, how? There's a bus stop downtown where you can catch a bus to Neptune's Paradise every day. Now leave me alone. I'm eaten. So this is downtown Bikini Bottom. Hey, Patrick, where'd you get that sweet camera? I won first place in the annual Bikini Bottom Bikini Contest, and this was the prize. Patrick, you won a bikini contest? Well, I was the only male contestant, but the judges said I had the most unique figure. Hey, Patrick, you wouldn't happen to have any bus tokens, would you? Uh, no, SpongeBob, I don't have any. What are we gonna do? Don't worry, Patrick. I'll find us a couple somehow. Great! I'll save our place in line. Uh, yeah, okay. 
I'm stumped, Patrick. Do you know where I could find any bus tokens? Just buy them. Patrick, you know we don't have any money. Oh, well, then just go find some buried treasure. Buried treasure? How am I going to find buried treasure? Well, I heard the Flying Dutchman buried some treasure near Goo Lagoon. Maybe you could talk to someone over there. Hmm. Well, it sounds like a long shot, but I might as well give it a try. Hey, Patrick. I like your hat. Yeah, it's the newest style. I'm keeping it real. I'll be back, Patrick. I'll be here. Ooh. Coral, it's actually a living thing, you know. I wonder what kind of jewelry they carry. Hi, what you looking at? Pretty jewelry. Yeah, it is. They got lots of nice stuff here. By the way, I'm SpongeBob. What's your name? Pretty Jewelry. Right. Well, you seem busy. I'll leave you to your insane mutterings. Pretty Jewelry. Can't look too tacky. Hello, nice place you've got here. You think so? Yeah, it's real pretty. Are you yanking my chain? No, I love it. Wow, that's really great to hear. Thanks. Just for that, I want you to have this videotape. It's priceless, much like the compliment you just paid me. I can never thank you enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, okay. Never look a gift seahorse in the mouth. That's what I always say. That looks expensive. <laughs> this door seems to be locked. Lagoon. There is nothing like being at the ocean, except being under the ocean. Wow, look at that. Wow, look at that. Why are you standing in the shade? It's a beautiful sunny day. Well, I have sensitive skin. It's very delicate, but it is a beautiful day indeed. Wow, you sure do talk funny. Where are you from? I'm from the English Channel. It's a beautiful place. You'd like it, I'm quite sure. The water is much warmer here in the Pacific, but you know what they say. It's not the heat that gets you, it's the salinity. Yeah, huh. So, what brings you to Bikini Bottom? The beautiful beaches, the charming townsfolk, and the legends of buried pirate treasure. I find it all so quaint. But, oh, the heat is overwhelming. Did you say buried treasure? What buried treasure? Why, the Flying Dutchman's buried treasure, of course. Legend has it the Flying Dutchman buried his most precious treasure on the shores of Goo Lagoon. I suspect it's somewhere along this very beach. <sighs> Where did you say that buried treasure was again? From what I've been told, I suspect it's somewhere along this very beach. Well, I guess I should be going. It was nice talking to you. 
A tally ho. Indeed! I thoroughly enjoyed our banter. Ta ta! Hey, this isn't a tanning salon, it's a beach. Hi! Right back at you. Wow, you sure are tan. Yes, I certainly am. But what else would you expect, man? I own the salon. I must set a good example for all my peach brothers and sisters. Salon? What salon? Isn't this a beach? No! Well, uh, yeah. But it's more than just a beach. It's a holistic and organic tanning experience, man. We don't just tan your skin, we tan your soul. Oh, I'm not so sure I want my soul tanned. Just looking at you, I can tell you really need to get your soul out into the sun more often. It's very pale and spotty. I think it's breaking out in a rash, man. Oh, my soul has a rash? Yeah, it's all icky. Gross, man. Really gross. <sighs> Can I borrow your sunscreen? I don't think it's working for you. That's because I don't use it anymore. I have reached the limits of natural tanning, the so-called Hamilton Horizon. I don't need to block any of the sun's rays. If anything, I need to amplify them. Amplify the sun! Hey, why don't you just cover yourself in cooking oil? Say, that's not a bad idea. You think you could get me some? I'll trade you the sunscreen for it. Deal. Oh well, I'll leave you to your frying. Thanks, dude. Later. <sighs> wow, pretty lady. I swear, I'm innocent. I didn't do anything. You can't prove that. I was only saying hi. Oh, well, I'm busy. Busy doing nothing, that is. Okay, have fun. Beach that way. Look at him go. He's probably preparing for his next movie. I like seeing lots of those. They make me feel safe. Hello, Larry. Hi there, SpongeBob. What you doing? I'm working on the biceps. They are the most important muscle group for impressing the ladies. You should try it someday, Skinny Bob Square Panties. Say, Larry, are those your beach toys over there? Yeah, those are mine. Old Shovely and Mr. Pal. Do you think I could borrow them? No way, I love that shovel and that pail. I'm getting all teary-eyed just thinking about them. Woohoo! Look over there! A mermaid, and she's looking at you. Ooh, good thing I haven't fallen off my diet. Where? Hey, there's no mermaid. Hey, Larry, what can I do to get big and strong like you? Well, SpongeBob, it's not easy. First of all, you have to wake up each morning at 3 a.m. and go for a 10-mile run. Okay! Then you have to do five sets of exercises, isolating each muscle group. Ten repetitions each. It's gonna hurt. Piece of cake! Finally, you gotta stop eating those fatty, crabby patties. What? That's crazy talk! Forget about it! See? It takes discipline. No crabby patties, huh? Don't you ever get tempted to cheat on that diet? Nah, the only thing I really miss are Grandma's homemade pies. 
Hmm, I sure wish I could eat those. Well, I better get going. Don't pull a muscle. Bye, SpongeBob. <laughs> Try to break a sweat once in a while. Hey, get your hands off old Shovely and Mr. Pell. the fertilizer Grandma uses. Ooh, Grandma grows such pretty flowers. Ah, our dear friend Mr. Krabs makes his way to the local bargain mart to make a little extra money on the side. He is such a card. He makes me laugh so. Ha <laughs> ha. Look at that chair. It... Look at me. I'm so cute. That fireplace keeps Grandma warm during winter. Hi, Grandma. It's me, your most favorite grandson. Oh, Patrick, is that you? What a pleasant surprise. Patrick? No, it's me, SpongeBob. Oh. How has your day been, Grandma? Oh, it's so much nicer now that my puffy, lumpy Patrick has come to visit me. Grandma, I'm not Patrick, I'm... Oh, never mind. What are you baking, Grandma? It's your favorite, urchin chip pie. But I just ran out of urchin chips. I'm so sorry, Patrick. I could run to the store and get you some urchin chips. Oh, don't bother, dear. I'll just feed them to the seagulls later. Ah! No, 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 no. Uh, really, it's no trouble, Grandma. Well, if you're absolutely sure, just promise me you'll be careful. I will. Thank you, Grandma. Guess what, Grandma? I won tickets to go to Neptune's Paradise for being Employee of the Year! Patty Cakes, I knew you had turned into a good little grown-up. I am so proud of you. I gotta get going, Grandma, but I'll come back to see you soon. Okay, Patrick, be careful. Hi there. I don't mean to be nosy, but your clothes seem a little big for you. Yeah, I know. I gotta have them altered. I just bought them. From who? They look sort of familiar. From Mr. Krabs. He let me have them for a steal. He's in the bargain mart selling all kinds of stuff. So if you're wearing Mr. Krabs' clothes, what is he wearing? You don't want to know. Anyways, I gotta go. Bye. Oh. Bye. That's a boat and a car. It's a boat car. Are you scallywag? Ooh, that skull is spooky. Hi. Welcome to the barge and mart. Do you carry urchin chips? Urchin chips? We sure do. Yep. How much are they? I don't know. A lot. Oh. Well, I don't have any money. Really? I never would have guessed. Oh, well. No urchin chips for you. No, oh, but I really need those urchin chips. Isn't there anything I can do to get them? Hmm. I'll tell you what. If you wash my boat for me, 
I'll pay for your urchin chips. Well, I guess that sounds fair. But where's your boat parked? Right out front. Oh, and, and please don't forget to wash the white walls. Okay, sure, no problem. Welcome to the barge and mark. All done. She's all sparkly and clean. Great. You're okay. Go grab yourself some merchant ships. They're in the back aisle. Hi. Welcome to the barge and mark. Well, I enjoy talking to you. Well, that makes. Hey there, Mr. Krabs! Hello there, me boy! What are you doing at the Bargain Mart, Mr. Krabs? Moonlighting. Moonlighting? What's that? I'm trying to make a few dollars selling some old junk. Now, why aren't you on your way to Neptune's Paradise? I am. I have to take care of a few things first. I might be up late. Is it okay if I come into work a little late tomorrow? What? You know I can't stand tardiness. Maybe I should have made Squidward Employee of the Year instead of you. No, no, no! I'm sorry, Mr. Mm. Krabs. I'll <laughs> be at work right on time. Don't you worry about it. Good. Now get going. You're scaring away me business. Absolutely, Mr. Krabs. Thank you. Money, 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 money. Wow! Empty jars! Oh, wish I had enough money for one. Wood shavings. Mm. Jerry goes through a box a day. Mr. Mm. Krabs, can I borrow this old cooking oil? Take it! Pearl convinced me to switch to some new low-fat oil type substance. You spray it on. Now, who would have thought of that? Very sweet of you, Patrick, but I wouldn't dream of taking that away from you. I think that's a good idea. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Look, mm. Larry! Urchin chip pie! I can't eat that. I'm not allowed. My trainer would get mad. Mm. 
Well, there's nothing like Grandma's homemade pie. Still warm from the oven. I'm on a diet. I can't eat that. Uh, um, okay, let me have it. Look at what you've done to me. I've got love handles. I can't talk to you. I've got to take a jog on the beach. One bottle of cooking oil, as per your request. All right, dude. This is gonna be great. Soon I'll be nice and flaky. Don't be so hard on yourself. I think you're pretty flaky already. So, can I have the sunscreen now? Sure, kid. Here you go. Now leave me alone. I got some broiling to do. Wow! Fish that cook themselves. What'll they think of next? <clears throat> Hi again, Ray. Hey. You're blocking my son. Kindly step aside, man. Tokens. Oh well, I better take a few for later. Hi again, Patrick. Oh, hi, SpongeBob. I'm stumped, Patrick. Do you know where I could find any bus tokens? Just buy them. Patrick, you know we don't have any money. Oh, well, then just go find some buried treasure. Buried treasure? Well, I heard the Flying Dutchman buried some treasure near Goo Lagoon. Maybe you could talk to someone over there. Hmm. I'll be... I'll be here. Here's a bus token, Patrick. Thanks, SpongeBob. Gee, I wonder where that bus driver is. Whoa, boy, I knew I shouldn't have eaten those burritos for breakfast. Hello, Mr. Bus Driver, sir. Hi, kid. Where does the bus from here go? The bus goes to the ancient Mariner Valley, home to the magnificent Neptune's paradise, where happiness and merriment are the meat and potatoes of a festive diet of fun. Oh, yeah, diet of fun. Can we get on board? We have our bus tokens. I'd love to say yes. Unfortunately, we aren't going anywhere in this weather. What are you talking about? It's a beautiful day. You'd like to believe that, wouldn't you? But look over there. That cloud is just waiting for me. What if we get caught out in the rain? I, I don't even have an umbrella. No thanks. I think I'll just stay here. Hmm. If I get you an umbrella, then will you take us? I guess so. Where's the bus? It's getting washed. I'll get it when or if we ever leave. I gotta go. Okay, bye. <laughs> wow. I It's good to see you again, madame. Oh, it's good to see you again, governor. Say, can I borrow your umbrella? First of all, it's a parasol. 
Secondly, no, I have delicate skin. I can't be caught in the sun without some form of protection. Well, if I got you something to protect your skin, <laughs> then could I borrow that umbrella? Parasol. Well, I suppose so. You seem like a nice little chap, but it had better be some strong protection. Here you go, my lady. This sunscreen is industrial strength, SPF 100. Why, thank you, kind sir. So gallant. You may now borrow my parasol. Oh, well, actually, I wanted to borrow your umbrella. <laughs> you tickle my funny bone so. All right, here's your <laughs> umbrella. Use it in good health. Cheerio! Thank you, my lady.